So you could practice it para po uh, mas alive po at mas prepared tayo sa ating, ating worship. So 12.30 po ang ating worship service hanggang 2 p.m. 2 to 3 p.m. naman po ang ating cell group at 3 to 4.30 po ang ating Eagle Discipleship. So ang Eagle Discipleship po natin ng 3 ay ang pre-encounter at ang post-encounter. Ang SOL 2 po, ang School of Leaders 2, ay 10.45 a.m. So, mas maaga po makakarating ang SOL 2. And then, alam niyo naman po ang kalagayan po ng ating Sister Lorraine. So, nais po natin siyang i-wish na mas um, pagkagalingan agad-agad mula sa Panginoon Yeso Kristo. Kaya nais po gumawa ang CCM ng short video para sa kanya. So, later po, it's either here or sa Ashley's po tayo gagawa ng video. A short prayer or greeting para sa kanya. And, um, we are invited po sa Open Doors Global Mission for their anniversary. However, wala po tayong time, so we gagawa po tayo ng video para kung i-congratulate sila sa kanilang anniversary. Headed by Pastor John. And then, sa October, uh, November 22 din po, merong anniversary ang Logos. We are also invited. So, kung meron po tayong time, tayo po ay dadalo after our worship. And then, ito po ang susunod naman po ang seminar ng sa Shane Walton. Sa Seoul din po yun, 11-29, November 20. So, magkakasunod po ang ating mga pupuntahan. And then... Sa ating kong Thanksgiving, um, pinagpapasalamat po natin sa Panginoon ng mga ating mga may kaarawang kapatid na sina Pastor Arnel, Sister Carmen, at Brother Noel. And new, um, new Thanksgiving po para sa bagong tahanan ni Sister Sarah at ng kanyang pamilya sa Ansan. Hindi po, tahanan, tahanan. May hagdan. <laughs> prayer for this pray, prayer list for this week. Healing for Nanay Norma and Sister Lorraine. Ate Cheryl, Sister Sister Lea. And then, good health for Sister Lea, Sister Cheryl, and Sister Rachel. Si Sister Rachel po ay pupunta ng Pilipinas sa November 22. Ah, uh, no. After November 22. Na naman. So, kung gusto niyo po sumama, you're welcome. Kung sumama sa kanya. <laughs> Yun po. Pag-pray po natin ang kanyang safe trip. Healing for its sister Grace for her cancer, uh, kidney cancer. He, uh, for baby Hannah, na operan po siya next year. For our CCM pastors, leaders, and members, ito ang self-planting. So, uh, meron pong desire ating uh, CCM na magpunta po sa Baju for um, self-planting. So, let's pray for this desire na ipagkalab ng Panginoon at Mag, um, ang Panginoon ang magtalaga ng mga tao gagamitin at ang Panginoon din mismo ang tatawag ng mga kaluluwang ilalagay niya para dito. Amen. Worship outreach in Namyang Ju and isa for Sister Lionel as a anak po ni Pastor and ito ang conference on November 25 to the, 29, 2015. Ilang po, salamat po. Good morning, Paul. I would like to make some announcement about uh, Sister Lorraine. 
She just passed last night. Oh, no. Early okay. this morning. But, uh, salamat sa Panginoon kasi hindi siya kumitaw sa kanyang panalang patataya. At, uh, sa amazing panahon, dalawang taon na pinigil sa kanyang Panginoon is that in her life na makaraming kanilaw ang kanyang naitakot sa Panginoon. And, uh, salamat sa kanya. And I would like to ask if she never want to please let us pray for her and her family. Let us pray all together. Salamat Panginoon sa alam na ito. Dahil, alam doon ang kalakasang ito ang kakalabi ng Panginoon sa bawat sa lahat. Lord, we know that our life ay nasa inyong kamay. At hindi po namin alam kung kailan ka pa pa na hindi po po rin. Sa baling kami ni Papa, salamat dahil alam po namin yung aming pagkakilag peace, yung aming pagdadalang hati ay mayroong kalakip na kagalakan. Sa pagkatalang po namin ang kanyang buhay ay inilihan niya sa iyo. From six months given by the doctor, you gave her more time, more than six months, less than not two years, in aim for her to testify her faith and to lead men, people, Panginoon, sa iyo. Salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay na kapatid na ito. Tulad sa iyo, ito para sa sa paraming tao, especially, Panginoon, personally sa akin. Salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay niya. At tulad na kilang Diyos, sa aking panalangin na kanyang pamilya, ay doon ito na kalakas sa aking nagdalawaan na, Panginoon, We are entrusting at tulad ng kumpapano ang panalangin ng Sister Lorraine that she entrusted her whole family, Panginoon, sa inyong mga bait. Ito rin na yung panalangin na kigang Diyos. Comfort them, O God. Comfort those people who are now grieving because we lost her. But we are not grieving out of sorrow, but we are grieving also out of joy because we know tinapos mo na yung pagkikirap niya sa mundo na ito at binibigyan mo siya mga ng panibagong pagkakataong maranasan yung buong kagala ang ipinangako mo sa kanya ang buhay na walang hanggang buhay wala nang pagdurusa, wala nang pag-iyak wala nang pagtangis kundi ang kasiyahan na minimiti na one day ay ang kanyang panang kalatay patuloy na mamuhay mabuhay Panginoon sa kanyang asawa at sa kanyang mga nakalawa sa ugat to really understand all these things Out of faith, even though sometimes it's difficult for the family, ang nami panalangin ay alam mo namin dahilang kas nagawa ni na ida pa tayong gawin according to your purpose. Yes, so very good. Kaya hindi yos ay nami rejoice pa in on top kas pagkat siya yung pasama. Kaya naman nalawa so God to rejoice also, even though we are hurting all God, we are grieving. Pagkat nakakamis ko ay naman kaniyang buhay. Ang dalangin po namin, all these people na hindi po niya, Panginoon, hindi nila niya sa iyong, sa iyong harapan. All those people testify, Panginoon, that a certain lady who is dying out of sickness, declared to, to die in six months sa buhay ng mahaba pa pa noon, ng dalawang taon, reaching these people so that these people can testify about her faith, glorifying your name. Kaya atas mo namin ito sa Pakistan, Jesus. Amen. Let us hear a short message before po natin ang pakinggan ng ating isang isang araw nito. This is a testimony of one of our sister who belongs to Christ Commission Fellowship. Pahit pa tayo pinilaw. Pahit pa tayo po natin ilaw. I'm involved in a business that helped me earn for a living. But eventually, I used up my money for drinking and partying. Not able to pay for my monthly dues, I sold myself for sex. I despised myself and looked at myself as nothing more than a sex object. I wanted to change, but I didn't know how. And as a child, I was provided with everything that I needed and wanted. In 1997, when I was five, my mother was granted visa and migrated to the U.S. for work. I thought, as a child, I was provided with everything that I needed and wanted. In 1997, when I was five, my mother was granted visa and migrated to the U.S. for work. I thought I was going to come along with her, but during the interview, I was shocked to hear that I was not her real daughter. She then told me that she was actually my Lola and that my sister was actually my mother. She explained that they had done this to keep me from my father. I was devastated. Then when I was nine, 
I was molested repeatedly by a close family friend. I felt hatred in my heart because no one was there to protect me. I never told anyone about what happened to me because of fear. It became my dark secret. In 2002, my dad became more visible. He expressed that he wanted to fix our family and win my mom's heart again. Eventually, they got married. I thought that having them both back in my life would finally fill the void in my heart, but things didn't turn out that way. During high school, I got involved with several guys without my parents' approval. I deliberately disobeyed my parents and I lost their trust. Nevertheless, I enjoyed the thrill of having men in my life because I felt it filled what was missing in me. In 2008, my parents separated. Everything was falling apart. I felt so empty, broken, and hopeless. At that time, I attempted suicide for five times. I began hanging out with bad friends, getting drunk, smoking, and continued having a relationship with different guys. I felt my life had no meaning and I saw myself as worthless and I had no peace. Because of the chaos and confusion in our family, I decided to run away from my parents and live on my own. I got involved in a business that helped me earn for a living, but eventually I used up my money for drinking and partying. Not able to pay for my monthly dues, I sold myself for sex. I despised myself and looked at myself as nothing more than a sex object. I wanted to change, but I didn't know how. I was tired of how I was living my life. One night, I prayed to God and begged Him to rescue me. At that time, when there was nowhere for me to go, I decided to give my life to God. In His grace and mercy, He heard my cry. Through my mom's sister, I was able to reconcile with my Lola and mom and move back to them. God did not only rescue me out of the pit, but He also began working in my heart. I was invited to attend a seminar in CCF Alabama where I truly understood the gospel and accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I attended Jesus now Elevate, where I really grew closer to God and was plugged into a group that nurtured me spiritually.